Martio. Welcome to Pick a Mix. And this week we are going to take a wander down the sidewalk, which means we have a look at the US top 10 on this day. And it's the 22nd of August, and the year we're looking at this year time is 1960. And I've had to put the light on. I can't believe it. It's gone so dark here. It's really blustery out there, as I said in my uh, little weather report earlier. So, 22nd of August 1960, it was a Monday back in 1960, and it was a leap year. If it's your birthday today, can I wish you a happy birthday? And if you are born on this day in 1960, you are the generation, what is called baby boomer. Your star sign is Leo, and your Chinese zodiac is year of the rat. Now, back in 1960, the President of the United States was John F. Kennedy. No birthdays on this day, this day 1960, so we're going to have to go back and have a look. So we're going to start off with a heavenly birthday. We're going to go back to 1862. And the French composer Claude Debussy, Lamar and Claire de Lune fame was born in Saint Germain La Ouen in France. Okay, we'll move on now. 1964. So today, this person is 60, and it's Swedish tennis player Matt, Mats Volander, seven time um, Grand Slam winner. Born in Sweden. I can't believe he's that old. It freaks you out. And the last one for, for, for birthday today. We're going to go to 1978. And it's a British actor and comedian and television host. And James Corden. Um, not one of my favourite com comedians, I must admit. So... Let's have a look and see what happened in history. So, 1902, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt be became the first U.S. Chief Executive to have a ride in an automobile. Yes. <laughs> 1969. This is the day that the last official group Beatles session that took place at John and Yoko's home in Tittertonhurst Park near Ascot. And in 2004, the, the Scream, the 1910 painted version, and the Madonna, paintings by Edward Munch, were stolen at gunpoint from the Munch Museum in Oslo, Norway. But we're not here for uh, for history and birthdays. We're here to have a look at top tens. And so this is the top ten for the 22nd of August, 1960, in the United States. So, at number ten, we had a number mover. And it's Image of a Girl by the Safaris. This finally moved and peaked at number six on the charts. It never got released here in the in, in the UK. This is that typical sort of America sound, what they were listening to in the 60s. I've never heard this. I've only heard it a couple of times. It's, it's okay. It's not very plastic sort of sound for me, that one. At number nine, up three places... Mission Bell, Donnie Brooks. Uh, this song eventually peaked at number seven. Once again, this was never released here in the UK. Um, it's kind of a poppy sort of song. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world. But it's okay. At number eight, Down One Place. Finger popping time, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Yet, yeah, another song. Um, got this one actually got to number seven on the pop charts in America. 
It got to number two on the r and charts, but never released in the UK. This is all right, even though it didn't get released in the UK. I have heard this song. Uh, it's not a bad song. I don't mind that one at all. Okay, number seven. Up four places, Bobby Rydell and Voler. This would reach number four. And this did make the UK chart and it got to number 22. Oh, it's certainly not my cup of tea. It's a little bit... Uh, um, but it just shows the difference what people were listening to in America and the UK back in 1960. Uh, I can understand why it didn't even get any higher than 22 because it's, it's an okay song. Okay, number six, down two places, Only the Lonely by Roy Orbison. Had been number two on the US, and this one actually got to number one here in the UK. A classic from Roy Orbison, a wonderful song. Um, lovely harmony singing, it's just a classic, isn't it? It's a great song. At number five, down two places. Um, from Brenda Lee, I'm Sorry, a former number one in America on its way down the charts. This one also charted in the UK and managed to get to number 12. Great song. I like this song from Brenda Lee. It's one of her best songs. Great vocal. She was a great singer. At number four, up four places, The Twist, Chubby Checker. On its way up to the top of the American charts. Only got to number 44 in the UK and managed number two in Canada. It's a good track, but it wasn't as popular as Let's Twist Again, is it? Um, it's still a good tra track. It, great stuff from Chubby Checker. At number three, up two places for The Ventures, and it is Walk, Don't Run. This is actually a cover of a Johnny Smith song that came out in 1954. This got to number eight. No, got to number two here. In Shall we start this one again? It got to number two in America. And uh, it got to number eight here in the UK. I like this track. Uh, most guitar players know play this. Family staple in our house. <laughs> if you play the guitar, you want to learn to play this. I never learned to play the guitar. I love the drums in this. It's great. At number two, we have a, a nun mover from Brian Highland, and it's Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. I'm not a. This is a great song. Number one for Brian in the US. Made it to number two in the UK and got to number two in Australia. I'm not a big fan of this. And then back in the 80s, we had Timmy Tell Malik do a version of this. And it's awful. <laughs> okay, at number one in America on this day, and it's the second of five weeks for Elvis Presley, it's now or never. Big number one all over the world, including the UK, Australia, Netherlands and Norway. Now... I was talking to Lee about this yesterday, who's a huge, as you know, is a huge Elvis fan, and I says, "This song I just don't like. It's very wishy-washy. Uh, oh, it was. I, I prefer rock and roll Elvis and a bit of um, gump. Now this is a more insipid song. Never been a huge fan of this song. It's. I mean, it's an old song, anyways, and opera." Sort of Italian sort of song, isn't it? Um, but no, not my cup of tea at all. Okay, that's all for this one. Um, I'll be back tonight at 8 pm for the live stream, and uh, if not, we'll be back tomorrow. And tomorrow we have got a live album ranking, and we're going to look at the live albums of. Um, the Eagles. And also I've got a new album tomorrow and it's um, the script of their new album Satellite and it's their first album. 
after the tragic death of Mark Sheehan. And a quick bit of thing. Uh, you remember last week? Um, I'll also say I'll also say this in the um, live stream tonight. Um, last week we had to postpone uh, the Richard and Ian thing. It's actually happening this Saturday. Richard's a lot better, and he contacted me and said, "Yes, we'll do it on Saturday." So we got that on Saturday. But I will, I will let you all know again as time goes on. Okay, I'll see you tonight on the live stream. Bye for now.